Hi everybody, this is Draw Ninja KC and this is Ninja Reviews. Today we review the Pocket Staff. Now we've all seen the commercial on the internet with the little gadget that turns into a bow staff and then they're twirling it around. If you haven't seen it, you actually haven't been on Facebook or Instagram lately or you've been living under a rock. Either way, here's a little preview of what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not what they call an impulse buyer. I never really buy anything on impulse, but I think this is the first item I've ever seen, and within five seconds of seeing it, hit the credit card and bought it like right away, okay? So, I, it was an impulse buy, but I thought it would turn me into Robin or Nightwing, or it would just be a really cool gadget to have and show people. They also claim it was like a magic a magic staff that you can, you know, out of nowhere just have a staff. And, you know, that was, that'd be pretty cool. And um, But now they're, they're also claiming that it can be used for self-defense. Now, after I received it, I found out a lot of things about it that they didn't say. First of all, don't let the commercial fool you. It's made in China. Not only is it made in China, it's shipped from China. I found this out the hard way when I wanted it so quickly that I actually paid eight extra dollars. Eight extra dollars! That was a lot of money these days, man. Eight extra dollars for expedited shipping, which meant it would come within seven days as opposed to 15 to 30 days. It took two months to come. So if you are gonna order this thing, don't pay for the ex expedited shipping. And then I realized it was basically just a recoiled spring. Now, not only was it a recoiled spring, it's a very dangerous thing to have around the house. If you have kids, don't buy this item. If you are afraid of uh, hurting yourself, if you're a careless person, don't buy this item. There's only a few reasons you should be buying this item. One, you're a ninja assassin. Two, you're a samurai assassin. Yes, both of those were my drawings. And three, you live in a really bad neighborhood and get accosted every night. This thing is so unpredictable. In fact, here's what happened when I misjudged the distance between myself and my phone as I was shooting the review. Needless to say, my phone took one for the team. You're welcome. Whenever you let it go, it does have a, f a force behind it. So if anyone was to be in the path of this item once it shoots out, you 100% could get hurt. So the, the, the way to use it is not really as a bow staff. It's more as like a projectile um, weapon. As, a, uh, as opposed to like a hitting weapon. Because it, it does come out really fast and it does have a kind of like a rounded edge, a rounded edge that makes it a little sharp. So if anybody was to get hit in the eye with this thing, 100% it would take the eye out. I'm not even kidding, okay? So when I first felt the force behind ejecting it, I realized I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put this thing away because I do have an 11 year old son. And the first thing he said to me when he saw it was, can I have a try? 
No. This is not what this is not something you want to give to your kids. It's better off being handled by adults. Responsible adults. The good thing about it is it is a really cool item. It does really um, eject and it does act as a bow staff, but don't try to hit somebody with it or else the it'll break or it'll bend. You can fix it back because it is a recoiled spring, but trust me, you're not hurting anybody with that by hitting them with it. The best way to to hurt somebody with that is by uh, pointing it pointing it at them and using it as a projectile. That's it. That's how that's how it's used as a self defense weapon. Okay, because it's a little too flimsy to to hurt anybody with it um, by hitting them with it. The other thing is, I recoiled it a few times, and two I would say two out of the five times I recoiled it, I cut my hand. Now. One of the most dangerous things about this weapon, or uh, weapon slash cool gadget, whatever, um, is that it's very sh it has very sharp edges. All the coils are very sharp. So when you put when you're recoiling it in, the tip actually is very sharp on one end because there's no padding. There's just raw metal. So once you're push pressing against your hand to wheel it in, you're gonna cut your hand. I cut my hand twice. I don't know if anybody can. See that right there? That's a, that's a cut. I'm really in. And also that also. I got that one a few days ago. So yeah. It's not something that you want to be messing around with. It can cut you. And it can cut other people if they recoil it the wrong way. So you have to be very careful when you recoil it back in. It does take about, I don't know, five minutes to recoil. It's, uh, I know the commercial says about two minutes or whatever, uh, but yeah, it takes a long time. I, I actually spent a good like seven minutes trying to get it back in um, the right way. So my, my opinion on this is, um, you know, as a ninja warrior, all the ninja warriors out there rush to the store to get this thing because it'll definitely help you. I think it is a good self-defense weapon, but I think uh, the person that you probably end up hurting more by having it is yourself. So I'm going to give this particular item the pocket staff. Out of five deadly venoms, I'm going to only give it two deadly venoms. Two only because it is a cool gadget and it does it does make you look like Robin or, or um, Nightwing when it expands, but um, that's as far as it goes. Everything else I really wasn't impressed. I was more afraid than impressed, but not for, for anybody else, but for, for myself. You can definitely hurt yourself with this thing. Now that you have all the information, it's just my opinion. Somebody else may have a different experience with it, but I'm just letting you know what my experience with it was, and that's my review. And now that you know, you can't say I didn't tell you.